friends and welcome back to She's in Her Apron. Okay, today is Monday and I have had a busy morning. Go, go, go. It was so nice taking the kids to school and getting back on a routine, but Shaylee did not bring her coat. The car was warm. She just jumped in the car. I see her walking into the school. She has no coat. She forgot it, but they have indoor recess. She's not going to need it. So I'm going to grab her coat bring it to when I go get Boston for tutors and give it to her so she can have it when she walks out of the school. Oh my goodness. That's a total Monday thing, isn't that? Well, um, I came home and I have been going through the Christmas stuff and printing up lists. So now I'm going to Walmart to get bins for the Thanksgiving stuff to put away. I need um, at least one more Christmas bin. Um, and then uh oh stocking stuffers okay so i printed up all these printables for stocking stuffers and i cannot tell you where i got them from i just went on pinterest and found some lists that i could print and so i have many lists here so i need to go get stocking stuffers for derek um for the kids and uh my mom and dad. So, and I'm going to be sharing those stocking stuffers with you. Okay, on to Walmart because I need to head back and to be able to be home in time to pick up Boston for tutoring. So let's go to Walmart and I'll show you how I, um, I'm a kind of, I'm a weirdo and I'll, I'll show you in about five seconds what I do at Walmart or any store when I'm shopping for stocking stuffers. I'm a little kooky. So let's go. Okay, you guys might think I'm nuts, but what I do is I go and find bins like this and I could dump the stocking stuffers in each of them and then I'm not run rummaging through my cart going, who's this for? Da -da -da. I have it all segmented out. Then I get to the register and say, you know what? I changed my mind on these. <laughs> or you could dump them all out into the cart before you get to the register. But this is how I keep my sanity when I am stocking stuffer shopping. For reals, it helps my brain, especially for this squirrel of a girl. So that's how I do it. So let's go shopping. So I needed some nourishment while shopping and they have this popcorn chicken. <laughs> so I'm noshing as I'm shopping. I'm making good progress though, that's for sure. Oh <sighs> man, it is snowing here. Like really good. Lots of snow, it's coming. But, uh, man, what a day at Walmart. Um, I didn't even get the things that I, like, really needed, which were the bins. But that's okay. I'll go back. I ran out of time, and I was there for a while. But I was really looking at things and pricing things and thinking and looking at my lists. And that it was time to go and get Boston from tutoring. So, uh, but I'll go back and, and get the bins. But I'm not too stressed about it. But I got a lot of the rest of the shopping done I just gotta go home write it in the binder order a couple more things for Boston from Amazon and I think we're done we just gotta go to the post office and do cards so I think we're done so right now I just got my planner out and writing what I need to do um, each day in my planner so I could stay on track and not get overwhelmed and be like oh I didn't do that crap so that's what I'm doing and um, but right now I need to call and make an appointment for Shaylee to get her wide widener palette out because it is time for that thing to go so I'm gonna be sitting here waiting for Boston writing in my planner making phone calls and getting all the errands that I need to get and all the things that I need to do done while in the car if you like to see the vlog that I did, um, it was a collab with Samantha from Happily Housewife on how to be productive in carpool when you're sitting a lot in your car. Check out that video, be that video because there's a lot of information, and this is what I do a lot. Lots of time when you're waiting, sitting, and waiting, waiting, and sitting. But I got some spice drops to keep me company. These are so good. I'm going to be like this later. <laughs> Hello, friends. It is Tuesday, and I just dropped the kids off at school, and now I'm in the parking lot of my nail salon, 
and I'm gonna get my nails done. It's been three weeks and they are long. Not long to some people, but long for me. So, getting them done. I like them short. And, uh, yeah, so I brought my makeup as I usually always do. I don't know why I try to take out my makeup and put it back in the drawer in my bathroom. I think I need to buy, like, another set of makeup and keep it in my bathroom and just keep this one out of the drawers because I do my makeup more outside my bathroom than I do inside my bathroom. So I might need to think and invest about that. I'm not going to lie. I have some anxiety today. Um, right before I hit record, I said a prayer to um, help me take upon his yoke, help me out. I need it today. Um, I feel a little stressed, a little overwhelmed. So today, um, I still haven't decorated for Christmas, you guys. This is how nuts um, it's been for me and the family we have been go 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 Callie had her volleyball ba banquet last night and she received um, an award she got coaches choice award and I'm so stinking proud of her she's worked so hard um, this volleyball season with she's a setter and she's just done so well and she's improved so much and so um, I'm proud of her so she got recognized last night um, and I was just busy cleaning up from Sunday and honestly, guys, I'm so behind and I spent the majority of the day shopping. I am done. Um, pretty much. We just need, I think we're waiting on one more thing and we're done. So I said a prayer. I am, um, leaning on my faith today. Uh, to help me you know not think of the whole big picture and um, take it one step at a time and so yeah that's what I'm gonna try to do today all right my friends I'm going to finish my eyeliner and my mascara and I am gonna head in and get my nails done so I got back with my nails are done she did such a good job oh my gosh I love them and then I had my mentoring session with Kat and while I was on the phone with her I stopped at the store and I grabbed a few things I needed more American cheese for sandwiches carrots and celery for <clears throat> a split pea soup I'm making tonight for dinner and my turkey broth that I am making with my leftover turkey carcass carcass and uh, making soup this week and I got tomatoes and cucumbers for our salad and so I just made a little jaunt I did eat a donut yep and then I grabbed this little beauty this is like caramel corn and cheddar cheese popcorn oh Chicago mix it is delicious and then I got a dirty coke I need it today you know cat helped me a lot today in my call she really did I I am struggling since Thanksgiving to just keep my brain where it needs to be I feel like everything's just spinning out of control and she helped me reel it in and take back and I'm really just I love her for it and I'm gonna be sharing um, what she said to me but uh, not at this moment but I'll be sharing that with you soon so Thank you, Kat. I love and appreciate you so much. And if you guys don't know who Kat is, she is my Fly Lady mentor. You can get a Fly Lady mentor through the premium program. And I'll leave a link down below um, where you can learn about it. But, oh my gosh, she is a lifesaver. So, thank you, Kat. All right, I'm going to get this stuff in the fridge. And, uh, yeah, I have a little bit time left before I need to go to the school. So, I'm going to get this stuff put away. Can you see me? I'm in Callie's room, but I wanted to show you my outfit. Um, I'm in those skinny jeans that I bought from Maurice's. These are the boots I got from JCPenney, and I'm going to talk more about these later. I'm in a cream sweater with the scarf that I grabbed in the vlog from the other day. And that is my outfit today. I'm actually in normal clothes, put jeans on, no sweatpants. So, Kat, I said today... That I didn't do my morning routine. Well, I forgot. I did do my laundry because that's like, um, I thought I did laundry. 
Oh, that was last night when I should have been in bed at like 2 in the morning. <laughs> Wowza! Alright, let's start a load of laundry then. I'm going to do some towels. Yeah, you'll see some beach towels in here. I still haven't gotten that tote yet. So on my to-do list, no more beach towels to be used unless it's summer. I'm so, see, look, beach towel. But I'm going to start a load of towels and then take the clothes that are in the dryer out and fold them and put them away. So that is going, but look, I'm out of my mind today. I'm literally out of my mind. Thank goodness I got that dirty Coke. Swore I had laundry in here. Oh, wait a minute. There was laundry this morning when I was looking for the kids' clothes. I put it away already. I am not with it today, you guys. Seriously, brain gone. <laughs> Ooh, probably a good thing I got that dirty Coke today. All right, moving on. Okay, table is cleaned off, floor is vacuumed. Um, I was like, okay, I gotta leave soon. In fact, right now. Look, what can I do to make me feel better about being in here? So I got everything vacuumed, table set so the kids can come home, do homework, have a snack. And um, the front room is picked up. Well, the kids picked it up, I just kind of tidied it a little. And uh, they did a good job though. And so, this area of the home is clean. I think Jonah's bringing home a friend. I feel much better about that. So, ah, yes. I think I feel better about today when the kids get home from school. I am gonna head out and go help in Shaylee's class and then grab the kids and come home. And then Callie is off to help our friend today. Her husband is having surgery. So she's gonna go over to their house and uh, help out with the kids. Starting tomorrow December 1st um, we are going to be doing like 25 days of service and kindness towards others and we'd love for you to join our family um, using the hashtag light the world and I'm going to have more information on this down below that you can go and watch where you and your family can you could do some of them or all of them ways that you can help serve others in your family or community or show acts of kindness and that's what we're going to be focusing on for the next few weeks so Today it's helping lift others' burdens. Callie's going to go help my friend Tiffany and watch her kids. Go check out the links below where you can today start serving others. And, um, and when you do, post it on social media and use the hashtag light the world. So this is what we're going to be doing this Christmas season as a family. So go check it out. Alright, off to the school to go play with kindergartners.